We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles to gadget reviews Man, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges to a midweek meal packs app. Crack your eggs, bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. Welcome everybody to Sorted. Now, you may remember a little while ago, we did the ultimate midweek meal budget battle where basically these guys watched us panic. Well, today it's payback time. We're gonna give you each a 10 pound budget. We're gonna put 45 minutes on the clock and we want you to serve up four identical plates for us to eat. Now, behind you, there's a bunch of surprise ingredients. You've got 10 minutes to work out what you're gonna cook. Ebers, you're up first. Load up the spreadsheet. It has an itemized list of every ingredient and how much it costs. You're gonna love it. I love a spreadsheet. Oh, exciting midweek meal. Start with celery. Oh. A little bit of creme fraiche. A lemon. It's always going. Oh, oh. committing. I love a bit of thigh. Now. Ebers, your time is up. I've currently spent £6.78 but I'm gonna leave myself just under a third of my budget left for some other things that might come to me as I create. All right, James, you're up. Here's the pork chops. Pork chops. They look delicious, but I'm only gonna use three because they're expensive. That's £4.50 already. Potatoes. A little bit worried about how many peppers I want because I want four, which, and they're twice expensive. Almonds are expensive. Yeah, I know. Oh, I really want a lemon. How much are lemons? 35 pence. I know I'm, I'm being spanny here, but I'm going parsley. Okay, well, I've actually got a, the start of something. James, you've spent £9.32. Ebers, you've only spent £6.68 so far. Are you ready? So ready. Yeah. In three, two, one, budget! budget! First thing I'm going to do is get some water on the oh. hob. They've taken off, they're moving really quickly. I don't even know what they're making. What are you doing? What are you making? I think I'm gonna go for a ratatouille style gratin with some potato cakes, like almost latkes. And then I'm gonna serve that with some pan fried chicken thigh, but all of the flavors and spices are kind of Mediterranean. And James, what are you doing? Um, I'm doing some Mediterranean inspired stuff. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to do um, like uh, olive oil mashed potato, like crushed potato. So I've kept the skins on. They got, went in first because they need to come to the boil and cook. And then I'm thinking I'm going to do a romesco sauce. If I can afford it, some serrano ham or parma ham or whatever, whatever that is. That's not actually for sale. Um, that's, it's not snacking. Who gave you pocket money? One pound fifty. I think this video is about under a minute in, and we're snacking home. Yes. I paid for it. Watching two chefs work their way around the kitchen like this mm -hmm. is fascinating to me. Trying to get inside their brains and how they cook. I suppose it's the inspiration for the Pax app. Yep. Midweek meals. How can you cook like a chef and not even have to think about it? They're gliding around the kitchen and not faffing about anything. Everything's got a reason, everything's got a point. So, so far I've peeled and diced a red onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, two courgettes and two peppers. So for me, I'm bulking this out with lots of veg, but that's about half a pepper and half a courgette per portion. And I'm gonna sweat them all off in the pan, then add tomato sauce, reduce it down, and that's gonna become the basis of a gratin. So onions had a head start while I chopped up all the rest of the veg, then the garlic's just gone in, and then the peppers and courgettes. After my potatoes, the first thing I've done is start my romesco sauce. So I've just really roughly chopped up pepper and onion. That's been tossed with oil and salt and pepper and a little bit of smoked paprika. That's going in a super hot oven for 20 minutes, maybe, until it blackens and softens. I've also, while I've been doing that, charred my sweet corn, which I can just leave on the hob, and then the almonds, which I have to actually look after. I might have gone in a bit hasty. I don't think I need my celery today. No returns on fresh veg, I'm afraid, mate. Especially if it's celery. No one else is going to want it, are they now? I'm going to make kind of 
potato rosti piley bits. So I'm grating the potatoes into a clean tea towel over a bowl so that I can squeeze out all the moisture. Then I'm going to season it quite heavily because potato is a good vehicle for flavour. And the flavour I'm going to add is two things from the Staples cupboard, smoked paprika and dried oregano. If you watch what the chefs are doing, yep. they're constantly cleaning as they go. Ebers has got all of his rubbish in one nothing. bowl. James has got <laughs> nothing anywhere. And it's these kind of tips that they give to us. Also, go into the packs recipes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that when you get to the end of your meal, you haven't got a huddle storm in the kitchen. I have an apology to make. The beauty of the packs is it's all tried and tested. I'm making this up as I go along. Important to squeeze the liquid out of potatoes. Do that before you add the smoked paprika and the oregano, because otherwise you just, well, you, I mean, it'll wash out. Oh, but oh, it was silly, it was silly, what? it was silly. Anyhow, blobs going into the pan, which is a combination of butter and oil, and they'll fry uh, until they kind of go crispy and golden, and then I'll flip them. So I think midweek, you generally don't go for long, slow cooks. So the protein choices, therefore, cook relatively quickly. Um, in fact, this dish, there's so much veg and things, it is a really good veggie dish. It's really annoying me that you're not calling it a gratitude. That would have been a, yes, a I've just changed the name of my dish. How long have we had? You've had 15 minutes. Why are you putting smoked paprika on the board? This is my romesco sauce. Um, I've chopped the parsley on the board. I've then I've toasted the almonds and put them on the board. I've zested the lemon onto the board. A little bit of smoked paprika on the board. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on. And then as soon as my onions and peppers come out, they're gonna go on the board and I'm just gonna chop on the board until it's a paste. James, what? you James, put the baking paper in your how frying you pan. Use baking paper. So I want to get this crisp. I could put it in the oven, but it would be a waste of a baking tray. And I've, I've got this pan that I've used three times. If I put it in a dry pan, I don't want to fry it. So if I put it in a dry pan, it's going to stick. So I've put some baking paper on it. Some, you sometimes do it with fish as well. How much does that cost? Oh, it will come out. Oh, come on, oh. not on a tea towel, like, guys. Yeah, that's ruined. I don't think we'll get that back. I think we'll take that at his cost. 22 minutes left. That actually isn't that long, is so it? We're about halfway. Veg softened, but still with a bite. I'm going to go in with tomato. That is lovely because of the sweetness of the peppers and the courgette all cooked off with the onion. It's been seasoned with salt. I'm also going to add a dash of vinegar, um, and it just sort of brings it to life. Seasoning triangle, right? I've used some breadcrumbs from the Staples cupboard, but I'd like to go back to the pantry and get some parmesan. And I make a parmesan crumb, which is going to go on top of the ratatouille and into the oven to gratinate. With my chicken thighs, again, like my potato cakes, I've got eight of them. No, I haven't. I was shortchanged. I thought I bought eight. I thought there was eight on that plate. The shop said eight. Anyway, I'll season them and they're going to go under a grill. I don't want to do anything to them just yet. I want them just to grill with amazing chicken flavour. Then I will throw them in kind of a dressing at the end. While I'm waiting for the potato cakes to finish, the gratin to colour, quick wipe down, clean up everything I have already used. 15 minutes left. Little roshties. Oh, they look good. Now, they're almost cooked. I'm just going to finish them in the oven to cook through. And because if anything, they're ready a bit early. I was too quick. So I've chucked in a couple of garlic cloves with, with this to roast off. So uh, I've put one in my mash and one in the sauce. Am I allowed free herbs? Because these are about five weeks old. No, and no. They're, they're free. No, no I just no, They came no, from my windowsill. No. Right? They're still alive, they're still growing. Stop bringing and herbs buy some into herbs. the studio from your flat. You can buy them. E Ebers, you've still got over three pounds to spend, so. Well, I can, I can buy some. Can I buy my own herbs? Buy yeah. your own herbs. Excellent. I think I remember the first time I saw a chef creating a sauce on a board. Who needs bowls? <laughs> bowls have edges, they restrict you. Boards, do what you want. You have 10 minutes left. For my dressing, I've got lemon zest, lemon juice, lots of fresh mint, olive oil, and I'm gonna season it. Nine minutes. I honestly thought I had eight chicken thighs, which would have <laughs> divided nicely between four plates. This feels like a real problem. I'm gonna have to chop them all up, and it's not how I wanted to plate them, but. James, James has only got three pork chops for four people. Oh, this smells good. I love the way that chefs think. All of that oil, butter, 
fat that's come from the pork chops has now gone into the mashed potatoes. Flavour. Two minutes. Now all of the chicken, all of the juices, in with all of the herbs and lemon. Last minute. Oh. Peppers! Yeah, you, you can <laughs> you charge. You were doing so well! You can charge me for it. 10, oh. 9, 8, <laughs> 7, 6, 5, 4, Four 3, 2, two 1. Step oh, away nice. from your budget meals. There we go. I'm hungry now. <laughs> that was quite therapeutic. And that is how two chefs do a midweek meal in under 45 minutes for less than a tenner for four people. Well, chefs, you had 45 minutes, you had 10 pounds each to prepare four plates in a midweek meal. I think it's fair to say that we weren't expecting a disaster and we didn't get a disaster. It's spectacular. Yeah, yeah. James, how much did you spend? I spent nine pounds 85. Ben? Uh, I ended up with 7.39 spent. And that was even by my own herbs. What? <laughs> <laughs> Should we start here? Start here, yep. Chicken, potato, and veg gratin. Cheers. 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 But chicken has a surprising amount of flavour, considering I took the mickey out of you because you just cooked plain chicken and then you were rolling it in the lemon zest and the lemon juice after mm. it cooked. The Roshdis are crispy on the outside, soft in the middle. It's bold trying to make Roshdis in half an hour, but they are brilliant. I think they're the best bit. It's not something you'd think to do midweek, mm. but it's not actually that difficult. I'd absolutely season the potato cakes after squeezing them. Maybe maybe eight um, chicken thighs. Um, Picky. But otherwise, yeah. James, over to you. Again, looks like a complete dish. Different elements, not necessarily none of them complicated, but coming together looks like it makes a really awesome dinner. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Sorry. Cheers. Tell me, James, did you get any flavour into that romesco sauce? I'm obviously being sarcastic. It's full of flavour. Oh, good. The smoky char. I like that. From the, mm. from the corn and the, and the romesco. I really love the idea of keeping certain elements simple and then having like a flash of inspiration and flavour oh, sitting somewhere on the plate that you can just add in whenever you want to. But everything else is just cooked really simply but really well. We've had a lovely time. But it now comes down to the crux of the matter. We need to decide on a winner. Chef, do you mind giving us a moment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to close our eyes. Three, two, one, and we'll point at our winner, and that will be it. Sure. Winner. Okay. Three, two, one. Open. Oh, my goodness. Did sake. you say that one? Yeah, I did. Oh, say no. That right, should you try again? Okay. Right. <laughs> After much, much it was, it was tricky. deliberation. It was yeah, it was, it was very, very close. We had to look at it, not in terms of what was our favorite, but where we thought the best dish ended up. Mm -hmm. And overall, our favorite dish was Ben's. Ooh, thank you. We thought each element had a really decent packet of flavor. In it. And whereas James's was really, really good, and we said the potatoes are simple, the pork is simple, and they were both cooked really, really well, there was one standout bit on your dish, which was the romesco sauce, and therefore everything else slightly paled into insignificance. Ooh. Whoa. Mint sincerely. I, I was fine. You yeah. took a long time to decide. <laughs> it was okay. I accepted the result. And then that. <laughs> It's obviously been really hard for us to pick a winner, and but let us know who your favourite is by commenting down below. And if you're looking for midweek meal inspiration, make sure you sign up to our PAX app. All the information is down below. Save money, save time. Don't waste food. How do I use this? Yeah. Took me a while. Oh. <laughs> nice.